That means it's camping time. Yeah. So I've got uh, kind of an interesting story uh, regarding that travel trailer too, actually. Um, so that is actually rental property. My uh, fiance and I uh, purchased that to uh, rent it out to kind of generate a little bit more extra income. And obviously one of the main perks of having a travel trailer is rental property. You get to use it. And once you use one, Camping's never the same. You can never go tent camping again and enjoy it. It's, it's so nice. But, um, so this weekend we're going camping, obviously. We're going to go out to the, uh, the four-wheeler park. Four-by-fours, Jeeps. All sorts of fun shenanigans will ensue. So we take the, the uh, RV. It's a lot of fun, but uh, a third-party company actually uh, manages it for me. So... They do the advertising, the maintenance, the cleaning, uh, they handle all the, um, the accounts and everything, and um, all I do is own it, and then uh, we split the money after uh, it goes out for rent. So uh, a lot of the times when I, when I want to get it, I have to call in advance and say, hey, I want my trailer, is it available, and they have to mark me down so they don't rent it out. And uh, that's what I did. And a lot of the times we'll pick it up and it will be a mess. Uh, you know, it won't be cleaned or something. And, you know, because we're not paying customers per se. So uh, we're not really on that, that, that rung of has to be super clean, unfortunately. So that's happened a lot. And uh, this time I decided to do something different. I wanted to pick it up early. So in the event it was dirty, I could leave it with them to fix the problems. And then I'll pick it up. Whoa real windy today. I can move this up. Easier to hear me. So yesterday I went to go pick it up and uh, sure enough it was real dirty and it was back at the shop which was really strange and uh, I was informed that the last person who rented it drove it into a pole and uh, messed up the uh, there's a little protection panel on the front and messed that up so uh, uh, the company replaced it obviously not at my expense so I wasn't too upset but sure enough the trailer had not been cleaned and it still had a bunch of stuff left over from the last people who had it and um, I was a little upset again but then I saw something that caught my eye there was a sign on the window that said Duran Duran now most people know who they are if you don't Google it and I'm like, well, what's this kind of strange? Why is there a Duran Duran sign on the window of my trailer? The uh, the manager there, he goes, oh, well, that's who had it last. I'm like, no, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, yeah, that's, they, they came out here to uh, play a private show. I'm like, you got to be joking me. So Duran Duran partied like rock stars and trashed my trailer. I can't be mad. I ain't mad. So lo and behold, they fixed everything, cleaned it up. Picked it up today, it's in great shape, perfect, ready for the weekend. Cannot wait. And now that I have my vlog channel, I'm gonna, oh, gravel. I'm gonna try and get a, a four-wheeler vlog in there. We're gonna get it, because I'm in a good mood. Wow, it is blowy, blowy. Wow. Oh, this is messing been this windy in a minute. Wow. Wait, wait. If you can hear me in there. Have a great weekend, even though this probably won't be up till next week. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. 20,999 miles. One mile to go to 21,000. And at 21,000, I will be official.
only 5,000 miles overdue for my valve check. I'm an idiot, I know.